Well, don't just buy and light off fireworks this 4th of July. Instead, impress your family and friends by letting them know what makes those unique colors we love to see. Showing us how they are made is the Valley Today's Christy Larson, who joins us from the lab at Concordia. Good morning, Christy. Well, good morning, guys. We took a step outside because this is going to get a little explosive here this morning. So Dr. Graham Wiley is here with us, and uh, right now you're melting some stuff down. Yep, so what we're going to look at here is the reaction between an oxidizer and a fuel, which is a big part of making a firework go bang. So all I'm doing is I'm just melting our oxidizer down, and I'm about to add our source of fuel, which is, of course, a very uh, common piece of equipment called a Twizzler, and we're about to see what happens. So I've melted this down. Are we ready to see a little bit of explosive science? here I am should I get out of the way yep, that might right. be your chance to run I'm supposed to run that's what he said and it's gonna make a big noise just for people who are listening and watching this morning and you can see the reaction starting there's gonna be a lot of smoke oxidizer and the fuel starting to react whoa and we all know we see those fireworks go off and sometimes they make those noises and they go off screaming. We get to see a lot of the smoke happening as well. And so this is just going to be showing you guys a little part of it yep. this morning. Maybe not my best one. <laughs> Thinking about, oh. <laughs> Should I come back? Yep, it's safe to come it's back. It's safe to come back. So what we did, saw there is just adding our oxidizing agent. And oh, we're getting a wee bit of a more going. Ah! <laughs> it's all right. Sometimes it just at the very end, it just goes a wee bit more as well. And we can see it's still reacting down there. And we can see and hopefully hear a bit of the noise as well. Is that not kind of cool? That is cool. Yeah, now go. Oh my gosh, of course now it's going to happen. I'm standing out of the way. And this is just the reaction between an oxidizing agent and a fuel. And so sometimes when we're getting excited, we light these off in the summertime. We don't realize exactly what's happening. We wanted to show a little bit of it here this morning. And of course, guys, this is something you don't want to do at home. This is something that only Dr. Graham Wiley can do. So we'll be showing you some fun summer science experiments that you can do with strawberries actually coming up here in just a little bit. We leave the, the <laughs> popping and the banging and the fireballs to the experts here on the Valley today. I thought it was a dud there for a minute and then it started again, you know, like good stuff. Like live TV, Christy <laughs> running back and forth. Good stuff. Be careful. We'll check in with you again soon. Thank you, Christy.